Welcome to another vlog. I almost just knocked over my coffee with a pillow. I'm still trying to figure out how the heck I like to use the Nespresso. Sometimes the taste is just not good. I like it for ease and a lot of times I'll use like the cold, the ice pods and then just make iced coffee. Certain pods, like the majority of the pods I feel like I don't love the taste of. I put two of those small ones in here and it's just a little bitter. I don't know. Let me know your favorite Nespresso combo if you have one, like which pods and what do you do to it? I do love me some foam on top though. This has been my go-to breakfast lately. I've been just craving a ton of fruit. So I have peaches, strawberries, whatever I have that I'm almost always having a peach these days. And then halloumi. If you've never had halloumi, I've said this 5 million times, best cheese ever. And then turkey bacon. This was my last piece, but normally I'll have two. So good, such a good combo with like the salty and sweet. So these are the two books that I'm currently reading. I usually don't like to do two at a time, but they're totally different topics and everything. So I feel like, feel like I can handle it, but usually slack on one. Atomic Habits, I've heard really good things about this. This one, okay, the, the title is pretty cringy. So don't judge it. But basically this book, well, this was recommended to me by a friend actually, who's really into finance stuff. And I too am really into finance stuff. And I think it's important for, especially women to have a grip on your finances and just know what's available and what you're capable of, you know? But this book does a really good job of breaking down the importance of investing and how your money can compound over time. He talks about even if you're only making $25,000 a year, how to actually save and put away and how that's gonna compound over time. He tells you specific index funds to look at. I'm only 75 pages in right now, but already I feel like if you wanna learn how to control your finances and let it grow without you doing anything, this one's worth checking out. And he breaks it down into like very easy, terms and he doesn't sound like he's like out of touch with reality basically. I've been doing a lot of like financial research lately just to know because I kind of was debating on hiring someone to help with that and then I kind of was like I want to learn how to do this so that I can sustain it and also know what's going on and how to do everything. So I've learned a lot in the last like month really since I've been digging into all of this. I've already like switched over a bunch of retirement accounts and other stuff but I just think if you're someone who's like I don't know what I'm doing with my money you gotta you gotta research girlfriend okay you gotta figure it out because if not you're just you're losing now on that topic I'll also link a few videos down below that I've found really useful if you don't know the power of HSAs there's like so many things that you can get into with this stuff but if you start digging and start reading there's so much information out there. And by the way, at least this is how I value money. I feel like I could talk about this in a shadow and schmutz or something, but it's more about freedom, like freedom of time, freedom to spend time with your family, your future family, to travel, like setting yourself and your family up for success. Like that's, that's what's attractive to me about finance, basically. I just got a Chipotle bowl delivered. Totally thought I ordered chips and guac and apparently I didn't. I thought they forgot it and I looked back at the order and it was totally me. Also catching up on The Bachelorette. Taking a little work break. I still have so much stuff I have to do tonight. I put on some makeup and I want to try out some new stuff and just like retest a few things. I ordered a few things from Wet n Wild that I want to try. This is their primer serum. This got really good reviews. That's the only reason why I picked it up. Please don't have a scent. I feel like it's going to. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Smells like... Oh my God, gross. I really don't even want to put this on now. Smells really intense watermelon. I'm gonna do it for you guys today. Oh, I feel like I'm putting a lip smacker on my face. Feels very moisturizing and serum-like without being too slippery. This is why I placed an order. I'm super excited to try the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator because in one of my videos, which one was that? Maybe the Essence video, a lot of you said that you love the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. And this one has hyaluronic acid, squalene, sheer to medium coverage. I got two shades because I wasn't sure which one I was going to be and they were super cheap. They were each like, I think four or five dollars. <laughs> I'm in this phase of squeezing it straight on my face. I don't know why. It makes life harder. <laughs> I'm going with my Haley's Beauty Brush. Ooh. Okay. It seemed like it was going to be really streaky at the beginning, but now it's blending in. That's a perfect shade for me. I went in with Fair Pale. I believe that's the lightest shade. It doesn't have a scent and it's looking really pretty and natural. I'm gonna try my hands on this side. By the way, these earrings I just got on ASOS. Love them. feel like they're the perfect size. They're not like too, too massive, you know? And they're actually pretty, pretty light. I do think I got better coverage with the brush. And now this is turning into a foundation Friday, basically. <laughs> I'm actually curious, how many of you 
either found me through a vlog or only watch my vlogs and don't watch my makeup videos. I was gonna say and vice versa, but I guess if you only watch my makeup videos, you wouldn't be watching this video right now. Looking pretty. I'm not getting like the super smoothing effect on my forehead like I do with some other products like this. Okay, that's helping. Hmm, I'm liking this for just like light coverage. It's definitely light coverage. I also wanted to try their incognito concealer, which I've never tried, I don't think. Yeah, like 99% sure. Does anyone else dread like undoing makeup like this? It's had super good reviews. Wow, this is light. Got the shade Fair Beige. I can't get this TikTok out of my head where it's a group of kids. I just gotta show you this. I saved it to my phone. I've watched it about 45,000 times. The ending, the ending gets me every time. But the first few times I watched that, I was crying laughing. Okay, I'm not loving this concealer. I'm not getting great coverage and it's also settling in a ton and it looks a bit dry. I'm using the Milani Cheek Kiss 120. This is very buildable, so you can actually use like quite a bit when I'm out. Going with the Save Bronzer. I can't remember if some people were comparing the Wet n Wild to the Essence, but if so, the Essence is definitely a way more satin finish, less dewy, and it also has more coverage, I think, and it also sits a little better over my skin on, like, my forehead and texture. Makeup is done. I'm gonna have everything I use down below in the description box. So here's Wet n Wild up close. I totally didn't mean to do a winged liner today. It was just one of those days where I kept getting longer and longer, and then they turned out a little uneven because I wasn't planning on it. You know, one of those. This is what I mean by I'm in a peach phase these days, okay? Oh my god, this is my favorite like lunch right now. So good. I put arugula on the bottom with salt, pepper, olive oil, peaches, and then drizzled it with the five glaze. It also went to Trader Joe's. Most grocery stores have like a glaze like this. It is delish. We're having some friends over for a game night tonight in a couple minutes, so I just made this little board got some fruit mary's crackers the herbs so good favorite hummus my friend is bringing Catan. so there's of Catan. i was afraid it was Catan. no it's Catan, right yeah Catan. and then we got code names this is one of my all-time favorite games if you've never played this so fun and then my boyfriend picked up this one which i had never heard of i think you got to have a good poker face for that one wow this is just youtube in like one clip right now i'm literally sitting on my toilet just got out of the shower and decided to vlog because I am having a moment right now and I figured we would chat in case any of you also, this goes on in your mind. I've been really trying to work on having more of a balance, work-life balance, but also just daily, like, like I've talked about taking the time to walk, taking the time to read, not working 24 seven. I feel like for the most part, like most days I have been pretty good about doing that, but it always gets harder if I'm out of commission for a few days because of health stuff and then I'm like in this playing catch up kind of mode or even if you're just out for a few hours and then you feel like you lost time. But anyways, this morning I woke up at 7.30, edited a video for like three hours, a call and then my head came on so I was out like in bed for a few hours pill kicked in luckily and then I had to go to a doctor's appointment so I went to my spine doctor and then came back here so I basically wasn't working for about four hours so then I'm like okay I gotta keep going so at that point I think it was like 4 30 p.m so I'm like okay I still need to like you know have a full work day here so I edited another video I was editing the clock just kept going it was hitting 8 8 30 and it's 9 30 and then I'm stressed because I'm like I feel like I still didn't get enough done today even though I know that's not true. Like I edited two videos, I got something done, you know? So I just get frustrated because I'm like, if I had the time that I lost today or in the last few days, like I could have gotten this done. I don't know where this is going. I'm basically just having a therapy rant session with myself right now. It's basically just always feeling like there's something that I should be doing and like trying to be more productive all the time, which is not great. And I know it's fine to have slower days not something i try to remind myself but i just feel like the most accomplished and the best when i can have a super productive day which usually consists of working from like you know 7 30 to 9 30 but then i'm also disappointed in myself because i didn't walk today i didn't eat healthy today and i didn't prioritize those things which 
like I said, I've been trying to do and I have been actually a lot better about. I don't know, just didn't feel very balanced. I know I got things done, but I don't feel like I got enough done. Anyways, <laughs> tomorrow's a new day, you know? I don't know what the point of all that was. Confession of being a workaholic. Well, sitting on the toilet in a towel. I'm heating up water right now because I'm going to attempt to take my own dip powder off right now. So I'm gonna do the two bowl method and it's ready where you pour a little bit of water into the bottom one. This is really hot, so I'm gonna let it cool first. I'm gonna try doing the pure acetone in a paper towel in here. I might even bag it too. Oh, that got super hot. So I'm gonna let that cool off so I don't freaking burn my nails off, but here's the before. So here's how the nails turned out from last night. I tried a different method where I used a gel base coat, dipped it in the dip, and then cured it in the light. Cause I saw a video on it. I'll link the video I watched down below cause I'm not gonna give you the step-by-step -step here. But I feel like the dip turned out bumpier than usual. So I don't know, I ordered a few just gel polishes to try instead of doing dip, but I think they look pretty good. I like the shine, I like that base and top coat I used. But right now I'm headed to get my hair done again. Like I was like, I'm gonna do this once every nine months, but I, I just want it shorter. My hair's been growing super fast. It's like back down here. I vlogged last time I got my hair done. I'm thinking I wanna do it like pretty short, like maybe up to here, just cause it's been growing so fast. So we'll see if I actually go that short, but I also want to cut my bangs because they're kind of just like, they're just hanging. I've trimmed them myself since the last time I got them done, but I think I want to do them even like a little bit shorter. So we'll see what ends up happening, but she's also going to dye my roots. And today I put on the Shiseido Radiant Synchro Skin, like their newer one. And I forgot how pretty this is. I, I started testing this and then I kind of like dropped off because there were so many new launches and everything, but it's a pretty one and it has some major coverage because I had hot pack, red rashes all over my face this morning, and it fully covered everything. I should have taken a before and after, but I gotta go get my hair done. Are we ready for the after of this hair? Here's the after. It is so short. My hair hasn't been this short, uh, I don't think in like probably five years, four or five years. And also she cut my bangs pretty short too, which I wanted to change, you know? I just filmed a TikTok trying crumble cookies. Everyone was freaking out about these. Yes, I paid to have them shipped to my house because we don't have one in Seattle. All right, I'm heading out to a wedding in like two minutes. This is my boyfriend's friends from college his wedding. So I figured I would show you the look. I'm wearing the dress that I actually mentioned in the one of my past vlogs, like the Marshalls haul. I got this from Marshalls for 16 bucks and I love it. I tried on like 45 million dresses and this was the winner. I tried on all these tight dresses and it was just, it was a no for me, dog. Have on my Etsy hoops. I mixed the Essence Foundation with the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It. Really like this combo. I mean, both of them were incredible on their own. So I feel like we're in for a good long lasting makeup day. Let me show you my shoes. Oops, I just realized I don't have my mic in right now, but here's my pile of stuff to bring. Gotta bring the car snacks, you know? But I'm wearing the heels that I showed in, I think last vlogs. Basics haul, just a casual pile of food on the floor, but here's what it looks like. I think you can see the outfit there better, but I love these shoes. They're like the perfect height too for something like this where I feel like I can dance, you know? Then here's the person we're bringing. I have no idea where this was from. I feel like maybe wrong way. I got it like a couple years ago. I just put in like three loose curls with the T3. It's crazy how much faster it is doing my hair now just because it's so much shorter. I just realized this shirt is from like I don't even know, maybe like 2015. But how weird is it that there's no TikTok logo? I guess YouTube too. Yeah, where's the YouTube logo, man? So I'm actually gonna try my Dyson. We're back again. I'm gonna be doing a, I decided I'm gonna do a six month full review. I bought it in April, so you can do the, do the math there. But this is the first time I'm gonna be trying it on my hair since it's been short. So I'm gonna put in some of the Shiseido Subaki hair milk. I love this stuff, makes my hair super soft. Good on you style. And I like to bring this one a little bit on the top, just to like tame the flyaways. And I don't find that it makes my hair like too oily or anything. And then do another pump and just bring it through. I feel like I've tested the Dyson so many times now in vlogs, but 
figure I might as well show you guys the process of testing it before the review actually comes out so you can kind of see the progress too. Did I talk about this in this vlog? <laughs> I don't even know. My vlogs are combined of weeks of footage. But I've used this, I don't know, maybe like eight more times since I first mentioned this because you can also use it on dry hair, not when it's just wet. And I really, really like it, but you can go overboard, especially if your hair is fine. I'd be careful putting it on dry hair. It felt so weird washing my hair because it just ends right here, you know? I talked through doing the Dyson so many times now, so I'm just gonna kind of pop in a little footage and show you the end result. I just did a half my hair. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be the move for short hair, for me at least what I like, but I haven't combed it through yet or anything, so, and it does fall a ton, like I've said five billion times about the Dyson. So maybe in the morning once it's more of just like a loose blowout kind of wave. And I am still using the long barrels, by the way. Here's the long versus the short. And I think it's just because my hair is so thick, it's, I tried both, it's way easier with the long barrel. Okay, I'm definitely getting like 70s vibes or something right now, but I'm gonna hairspray it and not come through it and then see what it looks like in the morning. If you're gonna be wearing it like the next day if you're styling at night, don't touch it when you use the Dyson, no matter what the hairstyle you're doing because it'll fall a ton. I will say whenever I do style my hair with this thing, in videos, you guys notice, like you don't know it's the Dyson, but I always only get comments on my hair when I use the Dyson. So it does do like something different. Like I think it does give you a little bit of that blowout look. Wow, I really sprayed the crap out of that. It's only been like a few minutes, but see what I mean? When it falls, it does have like just a different kind of look that I can't get with other tools, but oh, that took me a half hour by the way. So it's not fast even on short hair, but anyways, end of Dyson segment. Okay, so it's the next morning after I just did my hair. I just finished filming. I actually have no idea when this vlog is going up, so I'm not sure which one will be up first, but you'll see it at some point. By the way, I'm wearing the American Eagle crop top that I talked about in, I think, my last vlog. And it is so comfy. I don't want to show you the bottom right now because I'm not wearing a bra and there's deodorant on it. The seam just like cuts really nicely and it's super comfortable, so would recommend. But here's the hair the next morning. I do feel like a little bit a different era. I think the Dyson actually, it seemed to hold better than usual today. Maybe I just didn't sleep weird. I only had to add two curls in the front with a curling iron, like for my bangs. The rest of it, I just left as is. Don't know. Sometimes it holds, sometimes it doesn't at all. So it's a mystery, but I need to eat breakfast and I want to try these. This is not sponsored by the way, by Magic Spoon. A lot of people will talk about Magic Spoon on YouTube, but uh, I got suckered in and I bought them and I wanna know what they taste like and if they're worth it. So I ordered four boxes of Magic Spoon. If you haven't heard of these, they're just like low sugar, low carb kind of cereal that people say tastes good, so I'm excited. I just got like the, I think I could choose the flavors. I wanna try, there's one like frosted one. What is this? Peanut butter, fruity pebble kind of thing. This is the frosted one. So I think I wanna try the frosted today. Personally, I love cereal, so if these are gonna be good, I'm excited. But lately, I've been using the Silk Cashew Milk because it's super low in calorie. So for things like cereal and stuff, I'll use this because why not? But for coffee and stuff, I still definitely prefer oat milk. I think oat milk just has the best taste and texture. It's like super creamy. Okay, do you put your milk in first or your cereal? I saw someone do a poll on that on Instagram and it was shocking how many people put milk in first. I need to know why because then doesn't the cereal just splash all over? Here it goes. Mm. Wait, that's actually really good. It tastes kind of like cake, like cake batter. Okay, so far. Obviously I've only tried one, but <laughs> if you want a non-sponsored review of Magic Spoon, they're good. All right, it's been a few days since I've walked, so I'm whipping out the treadmill today. So I just keep it up under here. And it's the Sunny brand is the one I got. I got this like at the beginning of COVID, but there is a gym in my building, which I use too. But sometimes I just wanna go in here and I'll put like my iPad right here and watch something. It just depends. This one obviously doesn't incline. That's the only thing. So if I want like a better workout, I'll go down to the gym. Um, these leggings I got on Amazon, they give you a little uh, camel toe situation. Still liking the hokas, but still need to get insoles. Not trying to walk with some lashes waving in the breeze, you know? 
so I'm gonna get to walk in and end off this vlog here but I hope you guys enjoyed anything I talk about in vlogs is always linked down below and I love you guys thanks for watching I really appreciate all the vlog comments vlog comments are always the ones that I really enjoy reading and responding back to so leave a comment down below let me know what you thought but I love you guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye okay I decided to actually pop in this footage because I had it and it felt too long to put in the middle of the vlog, but here are some of my guest style favorites for those of you who said that you did want to see that in a vlog, so here you go. Okay, so I was debating if I should do this as its own video or in a vlog, but I think I'm just gonna put it in this vlog. So I'm gonna show you my favorite stuff from yes Style that I've picked up because whenever I mention yes Style and you guys are placing an order, you wanna know what else you should pick up when you're on that site. And this isn't sponsored or anything. I do have affiliate links down below. You don't have to use them, you can just search on the side. But Yesdale has everything. They have home stuff, makeup, clothing. I've picked up a ton of stuff on there at this point and I definitely have my favorites. I'm gonna share some of my makeup, skincare things I recommend from there. And also just clothing, shoes. It's a really good place to buy shoes if you have small feet because they have super small sizes on there. I'm a US size women's four and they have the equivalent of that and I think even one size smaller. So some of my favorite Yes Style finds, favorites, things that I've repurchased or just like, you know, fashion-y things. Here we go, I'm gonna try to do these pretty quickly because I have a lot of things here. So love these shoes. These are so cute, such a good little summery kind of platform heel that actually fits. This is super cool, I have this in my shower. I just have an extra one here to show you, but it's just stick on and it holds your razor. This next thing is my soap dish. I purchased another one because I think I've had mine for, I wanna say like almost a year now and it's just like needs to be replaced. They have a bunch of little food jars, like the container store, or you could put like makeup in here, like liquid lipsticks or something probably, but you have to be careful with these. I've actually broken two of these because the glass is pretty thin. So if you, if you drop it, it's gonna fully break. I mean, obviously it happens with most glass, but I have, I have dropped these. I love these clips. I have so many of these. It's pretty much what I wear every day. I have a clear one and a brown one too, and a black one, so you don't have to get the colored. Okay, this is one of my most asked about mugs, I would say. It has all these little markers on it for like espresso drinks, steamed milk, but just a heads up, don't put this in the dishwasher or you will rub off the the print on there. This loofah, I haven't seen a loofah in this shape before, but I love it and I love just like the color and everything. My Holy Grail eyeliner, the McQueen New York, it's almost always on sale for five bucks. By the way, YesStyle puts like everything on sale. So I would say don't buy anything full price on there because a lot of times it, everything gets marked down like 60%, 40%. How cute is this? Another shower product. This one I would say isn't a like really harsh exfoliant. So if you just want something like it's not soft, but it's not like this won't get off yourself tanner kind of thing, you know? And I wouldn't use it for that anyway because it is white. But if you just want like a semi-gentle kind of body exfoliator, I love the pattern on this one. And obviously you put your hand in there. How freaking cool are these shoes? Look at the sides. These, I tried these on when I had like red nail polish on my toes and they looked so cute. But these are the perfect length. Again, they have a size that fits. And I just love these. I don't have anything like these. Love the black and gold. These with like baggy light blue ripped jeans and a leather jacket looks really cute. I'm waiting for more of these to come, but as you can see, I use these ones. These are amazing. These are the best little eyebrow razors I've found so far. The brand is Shiseido, but look at how tiny this is, like relative to my nail. See how tiny that is? So easy to shave your eyebrow hairs with if you don't feel like plucking. This is actually one of my Yes Style repurchases. This is one of the best hair masks I've tried. This is actually also Shiseido, but it's their Fino, but it's super thick and it just leaves my hair feeling really nice and moisturized. So I would say if your hair is like more on the dry side, this could be a good one. That's what it looks like. It's basically just like a really, really thick conditioner smells so nice this year the you know plastic shoe kind of trend came back in style and i wasn't sure about it but i did want to try them the thing is because it's clear it makes your legs look so long you just have like the plasticky kind of heel and straps and more claw clips except this one is matte and a little bit bigger i'll show you the size comparison here are these two next to each other so you can see the size comparison i'm pretty sure this came with other colors as well as you can tell i love this pattern we got the exfoliator i got this i actually have another like tote bag i bring to the beach that i'm pretty sure it was from yes style and it's like the black version of this but this is really cool because it's an insulated lunchbox this is really good if you're like going on a picnic 
go into the beach. You can put your ice pack in there. Okay, mine are a little dirty because <laughs> I wear these a lot, but I friggin' love these shoes. There's something about the shape that when you have them on, they just, they look really flattering. They do something to my legs. They look nice. Someone commented and said these are like Yeezy dupes or something. I don't know. Yesterday was a really good place to get skincare. I've been liking this glow serum. If you want like a niacinamide kind of serum, this got really good reviews. I love that you can read the reviews for all the makeup and skincare products on there. This I'm testing to see if it was like a dupe for the Polish Choice. I do like it, but I don't feel like I notice as much of a difference as with the Polish Choice one. This is one of my favorite lip masks. It's the Clavu Lip Sleeping Pack. So good, pretty much like a Laneige dupe. I actually prefer this one over the Laneige for overnight wear. But they also have really good deals on Laneige. Definitely the cheapest price you can find it is on Yestel. And I like this one for during the day because it gives like a really pretty pinky kind of color. I'm gonna put a photo of my favorite facial cleansing oil that I highly recommend. It's the Purito. I currently need to repurchase it because I just finished it. It was in my empties video. The naming cream blush. I'm still trying to wait until the other shades come back in stock because I want to purchase more, but the tolerant one is really pretty. Obviously, Purito BB cream. If you have fair skin, the Misha Smoke Tazel Cotton Contour is gorgeous if you need a cool toned contour powder. Oh my god, I almost just dug my nail in there. I don't know why Yestyle puts the stickers literally right on the front. Like why? but this shade is super pretty. And then if you want it a little bit more warm, not as ashy, the shade Salted Hot Cocoa is really nice. Here's that one. Really nice formula too. I think that's all the S-style stuff I wanted to mention for now. I'm gonna link others if I remember other favorites down below in the description box too, just so you can easily shop everything. But a lot of my favorites from S-style will be down below.